Hi everyone, Chris here from IELTS Advantage with another success story. So today we have Ashok from our VIP course. Ashok, can you introduce yourself to everyone? Uh, my name is Ashok Dabi. I'm a dental surgeon and I'm from India. Mm -hmm. Great. And can you tell everyone a little bit about your experience with IELTS? Um, what did, how many times did you do the test? What scores did you get? What did you struggle with? Things like that. Krish, uh, it was basically a long journey. It took around one and a half year mm -hmm. to reach this uh, score. Uh, uh, you don't believe uh, my first score was 5.5 uh, band or, mm -hmm. but uh, I just wanted to achieve my score at any cost because I wanted to move to uh, Canada. So mm -hmm. that is why uh, I worked hard. And uh, right now, my, my uh, score is uh, 8 in listening, 8 in reading, 7 in speaking, and 7 in writing. So from 5.5 overall to 7.5 overall. Yes. That's amazing. That is a huge jump. Even in a, yes. in, in a year and a half, that requires a huge amount of work huge. and effort. Yes, so, yes. so, you know, congratulations on, on that. You. And Thank you. So, can you um, share your journey with people a little bit? Like to go from 5.5 .5 to 7.5 .5 in a year and a half is, is a massive achievement. So yes. how, how did you do it? Sh share that with people. Uh, initially, Krish, I didn't know anything about IELTS, mm -hmm. about, uh, about this, what, what's test. I th I th every, uh, my friends told me that it's just English test. So every time I read English, that's enough. And I also read, so, uh, initially I also read some sample essays, mm -hmm. but I never practiced, uh, means I never wrote essays and I never practiced a lot. So uh, initially I also uh, took up some uh, local training course mm -hmm. from India, but it did, didn't work. After that, I got 6.5. So one of my friends, he is also a dentist and he's also your, uh, he's also a member of PAL Academy. Do you know Manthan Solanki? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is also my friend. So we mm -hmm. both decided to, to enroll your course. Mm -hmm. So after that, you don't believe I got three times seven and 7.5 bands in writing. Mm -hmm. So it was the writing was the big hurdle for me initially because I didn't know anything about writing. I didn't know the different parts of the different uh, types of the essays. Mm -hmm. So it was the basic, uh, it was the main uh, hurdle for me. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, what I did, I strongly followed your ad uh, advice, two main ideas, then explanation, then example. Uh, what uh, Initially, what I did before enrolling your course, before taking your course, I mostly started writing whenever I uh, got my question. So I started uh, writing immediately without planning my essay. But when you told me, strongly, when you told me that uh, I had to, plan essays before I write, before Absolutely. starting writing. So after that, I plan, I gave uh, at least five minutes for writing, uh, planning essays. And then after I start my writing my essays. Mm -hmm. Secondly, you always told that uh, read, uh, read uh, newspapers. So I was, <clears throat> I also prefer to read newspapers. So what happened, you know, after reading newspapers, it becomes very easy. It became very easy for me to write down the examples. So I didn't have to think about uh, the examples at the time of writing. Apart from this, it also benefited me in speaking portion because in type three, in uh, part three question, part three speaking part, uh, it's quite a typical question. They are, the examiner asked some typical questions. So it became very easy for me to answer all these uh, part three questions. So that is why I mostly concentrated on uh, reading newspapers. Mm -hmm. So I downloaded the, the Guardian, the Hindu. So at least uh, I gave uh, one, and one, hand, one and a half uh, hour to read the newspapers. Mm -hmm. Every day? And uh, every day. Wow. And, uh, awesome. and uh, you don't believe, Krish, I wrote more than 300 essays. That's a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't correct. And, and, I, and, and, and uh, I also advise each and every members of the PAL Academy as well as other students that never miss Mondays as well as Wednesdays uh, essay classes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, st uh, I cancel my appointments for Wednesday and uh, I strongly uh, read different students' essays. Mm -hmm. So it helped me to uh, get all these ideas of different students. So at the time of exam, I didn't have to worry about the ideas. I didn't have to worry about the examples. I didn't have to worry about the explanations. So all these things, they're just stuck in my head. 
So it became very easy for me to write essays, particularly on exam days. Mm -hmm. So there is no, there was no uh, room for nervousness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you, when you were sitting down on test day, how did you yes, feel yes. compared to the first time and and the last time? How, was there a big difference first, in in how you felt? Oh, first time, uh, I didn't know anything about essays, different structures of the essays. But after enrolling your course, uh, it became very easy for me. Initially, what happened, you know, our local trainer always told me, uh, advised me to <clears throat> write down a heavy vocabulary, so-called heavy advanced vocabulary, so many ideas without explanation. So yeah. that is why uh, I got around 6 and 6.5. Mm -hmm. But yeah, after... Very uh, careful with, with, with local trainers. Some of them are really good. Most of them aren't, you know, so it's a yes. shame. Yes. So initially, I also believed that I had to use uh, heavy vocabularies and uh, I had to use so many ideas without any explanations, without providing uh, examples. But all these things are very necessary if you want to, uh, if you want to get a seven or seven for uh, uh, more than seven bands. Mm -hmm. And secondly, uh, newspapers also, uh, I forgot one thing, that newspapers also play a very important role to, uh, to learn uh, grammar. Because, mm -hmm. you know, grammar is really a boring portion. But if you really, for me, it's a quite boring. Whenever I read, me uh, too. Whenever I start reading, <laughs> even though I read grammar, even though I created a whole grammar course, I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy it. Uh, so when I read newspaper, so I I was familiar, uh, I was familiar with uh, the prepositions and articles. So if anyone uh, know about the anyone knows about the prepositions and articles, then they will definitely win this game. Because you don't have to write down heavy, you know, uh, active, passive voices or conditional uh, sentences in this uh, particular exam. It, the, the main uh, aim of this exam is that how you convey, how you can convey your message in English mm -hmm. in simple way. Mm -hmm. So keep it simple, uh, read newspaper. And, uh, and third most important thing I would like to uh, share with you is that uh, if, if you have a good friend who is also preparing for IELTS then discuss with your friend yeah. it not help to it is uh, it will not help you to improve your uh, english but it also help you to provide so many uh, ideas related to uh, essays as well as your speaking portion mm -hmm. and last uh, oh, go ahead sorry uh, and last thing is that uh, many times people uh, always advise that watch bbc but i mostly prefer i mostly advise uh, students to watch uh, discovery as well as uh, national geographic channels because uh, in reading and listening portion you will get a uh, same topic in your uh, last sessions so it become very easy for you to predict the answer that's excellent advice it's just it's, you seem to have just surrounded yourself with english and with IELTS yes. for, for yes. a long time and work yes really, yes really hard and, and yes. it's great to hear that because you are an example of someone who has followed the system that, that, that I uh, that I encourage everyone to, to to follow, which is not very complicated. I mean, it's find out what your weaknesses are, yes, turn yes. those weaknesses into strengths. You know, surround yourself with English, practice every day, yes, work yes. hard. You know, these things anyone can do. These things, um, yes. and, and it's great to see someone a shining example of someone who just followed that system blindly and got the scores that they needed. You know, yes, sir. Excellent. Sometime uh, you you sometime what I uh, during Wednesdays uh, you many times scolded me because uh, <laughs> I mostly prefer to do some experiments with my essays, particularly in your class yeah. because uh, there is no room in exams. Mm -hmm. So I mostly prefer you you advise me very well. I really followed your advice, mm -hmm. and I, I during test time I. <clears throat> you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, all good, all good. Yeah, keep going. Oh. So, looks like Ashok has hit the wrong button <laughs> and um, ended our success story a little bit early, um, but that's all, all right. Um, he pretty much said everything that he needed to say. Um, maybe he lost power, or maybe he lost the internet or something like that. Um, but now that you have me alone, um, if you look at all of our success stories, 
all the students who were on the VIP course, um, they pretty much followed the exact same formula. Um, you'll hear all of them talking about, you know, you, keeping it simple, simplifying everything, using grammar and vocabulary in a way that helps you convey your message and clearly communicate with the reader. Uh, surrounding yourself with English, practicing your vocabulary, improving your vocabulary every day, um, reading every day, listening every day to English, um, planning out your answer, following a certain structure that we use on the VIP course. And all of them um, get the scores they need if they follow that system. It's really, really simple. Um, it's not simple as in you know, A, B, C, one, two, three, you do have to do a certain amount of work. But if you're prepared to do the work and get the scores, you, you will get the scores you need. So that's pretty much it. I'm talking to myself uh, instead of uh, normally speaking to a student, but that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.